So you have a cervical herniated disc and it looks like you're going to need surgery. This portion of the website goes over every surgical technique that we have for treatment of cervical herniated disc. Unless you're out of your mind, no one likes to have cervical surgery. But this could be good news for you because let's face it, you're having symptoms of pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness. You're not getting better. So be happy knowing that there are really good, safe options for you to get better. There are three principles that you should keep in mind as you go forward learning about cervical hernia disc surgical treatment. The first is, less is not always more. What I mean by that is, don't automatically assume that laser micro mini microscopic surgery is automatically what you want. You have a herniated disc, it's putting pressure on the nerve. The objective is to get the pressure off the nerve. The objective is not to absolutely do the least mini micro surgery. So get the surgery that's gonna get you better. Don't focus on less being more, focus on getting yourself better with the appropriate surgery. The second principle is don't focus on the implant. Don't decide automatically that you want a disc replacement motion device before you've even seen a doctor. Be open to all the options and let the doctor steer you towards getting the appropriate implant. Everybody likes the idea of motion devices. Everyone likes the idea of laser surgery. But again, it's important that you get the right surgery. So don't pick the implant first and go to the doctor and say, I want this. First decide whether you need surgery and what surgery is indicated and then pick the appropriate implant with your doctor's advice. The third principle is to make sure that you educate yourself about all aspects of surgical treatment. Listen to the patient's story so you know what people go through before and after surgery. Check up on your surgeon's reputation and the hospital's reputation to make sure you're going to get quality care. Listen to our anatomy discussions so you can understand what's going on inside the neck and speak to your surgeon intelligently about the anatomy of the cervical spine. And Make sure you go over the risks, benefits, and alternatives to the surgery when you meet with the surgeon. I think if you follow these three principles and you learn about the options below on the website, you'll have a good understanding and a good outcome from your surgical treatment.